would normally never do this at work, but I have all these thoughts running through my head, and I just had to get them out, and I just saw my boss go on his lunch break. I mean, what's happened in the past week alone? <laughs> Daniel and Sarah dropped a letter from my dad into some beach water, smearing a part of that letter which reveals a formula to save Brie. I met Jonas, Taylor, Sarah, and Daniel at my office on my way to lunch. <laughs> nice surprise, guys. <laughs> Almost got fired. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> then, I get involved in this whole thing by trying to figure out this letter with Taylor, my new protege, little sister, overall pal of mine. <laughs> we bonded over cheese and crackers. <sighs> Just like old times. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I then tell her that just because Brie is trait negative, that has nothing to do with the purity bond. That's just some him of one BS used to control the minds of these young girls. Then we ask the fans to help us decipher the letter and ta-da! We discover that we need to create a serum using the blood from one of these girls. Daniel goes off on his Woodward deep throat meeting. We discover that Brie is under lock and key because there's going to be a hymn of one ceremony in one month. One month? One month! You know what that means, don't you? It means we have a mission and we choose to accept it. Our mission is top secret. So all I can reveal to you is that we have a mole from the inside. Which means we know where to get these blood samples to save Brie. God. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I feel like... I, I feel like Edward Bond in Dark World, you know? I, I've just penetrated an alternate world. A, a semi-factual world very similar to my own. I wonder if I'll meet a doppelganger Spencer. Holy I'm just recording some notes for my uh, project. <laughs>